we've been talking all about the wild weather, and now let's talk about what could be wild at the gas pumps and with a wild man himself, Mike Ethel, <laughs> over oh, yeah. at 680. Uh, you yeah. know, keep, keeping a close eye on this one, Mike, and you're saying this trend, it's going to continue for late spring. We could see some high prices. Yeah, and I'm, I'm so wild, I'd fit right in with the bikers <laughs> in Port Dover, right? You should. That would be just ridiculous. <laughs> Me on a motorcycle. I want to see it. I can see no, you with the, no, no. the leather jacket. No? <laughs> the whole thing, right? The whole, all the paraphernalia. <laughs> I grew up a half an hour from Port Dover, and I've never actually attended Come an on. event. Go figure. I know. You know the next know. one that's coming up. That's your new assignment. That's going to be going. huge. The, yeah. The, the, don't, don't underestimate the size of the crowd in July. Today, maybe not so much. But you know what? To fill up the gas tank on the motorbike is going to be a little bit more expensive. See the segue there? Uh, the uh, price of the pumps, a buck thirty-five nine coming in at the peak here in the GTA this morning. And this is all related to, well, the price for oil going up 8.5% this week and the wholesale price for refined gasoline going up in lockstep to a three-year high. So we're paying for it. And uh, right now the trend is not exactly our friend because uh, the price for oil is up again this morning. Right now the forecast, the early forecast for the weekend on the Price at the pumps is no change for Saturday, maybe an increase on Sunday. But looking forward here, as we're still going through the seasonal changeover to the summertime blends, even though it doesn't feel like summer, uh, the talk is that the supply of refined gasoline will be diminished, and that'll just lead to even higher prices going forward. Busy travel itinerary, itinerary rather, for our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, at the Summit of the Americas in Peru this weekend. Talking trade, the whole hope was that this would lead to a preliminary trade agreement on NAFTA. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, but he's going to try to advance the talks nevertheless with the uh, Prime Minister of Mexico and U.S. VP Mike Pence at uh, that summit. Then Trudeau flies back to Ottawa for a Sunday emergency meeting involving the premiers of Alberta and B.C. They've got to talk about the move forward on the Trans Mountain Pipeline issue, which came to a uh, a big head this weekend, or this week rather, that's been front and center on the domestic trade front between the two provinces, and then it's off to Europe for an extended uh, trade mission there for the Prime Minister. Stocks this week have been very strong as it turns out. We've seen huge swings on Wall Street coming off a big day yesterday to the upside, almost 300 points for the Dow. Canadian dollar's been up with the price for oil, and we've been watching Bitcoin bounce as well this week by 20%, back above eight grand as of this morning. Send it back to the studio. Hey, by the way, but I don't buy the, the argument of the uh, gas industry yes. that it, it's okay for it to be more expensive in Toronto. I paid a buck twenty-four yesterday <sighs> in Newmarket. Yes, Kevin. It costs more to transport. There's uh -huh. less competition. Usually the rules of competition should drive price down. Yes, but Kevin, you complained back when the price was for gas was the same everywhere. I, I have, so you can't have it both sir, ways. In the city, it should be more expensive. There are more cars here. Now, I sound like a shill for the energy companies again. <laughs> sir, I am a Canadian. It is my God-given right to complain Absolutely. about everything. All right, thank that, you. <laughs> have a great weekend, Mike. You too.